about there's a very famous hadith about the Prophet ﷺ where he said that uh, a believer who curses uh, another believer is considered to be from amongst the fasuq or the wrongdoers, if that's a correct translation. Could you just extrapolate on that hadith, please? Yes, the Prophet said, alayhi salatu salam, Sibabu al mu'mini fusuq wa qitaluhu kufr. So the Prophet said, alayhi salatu salam, also in another hadith, cursing a believer is like killing him. Okay. So when you curse someone and you say, may Allah curse you, and the curse of Allah is to deprive an individual from being in Allah's mercy. And if you're not in Allah's mercy, then definitely you are in Allah's wrath and punishment. So this is totally prohibited in Islam. And unfortunately, due to the impact of media upon us, people nowadays are cursing all the time. Okay. So whatever happens, they don't only swear, they use cursing words. So they say, Allah heal'an so and so. If someone cuts in front of them, Allah uh, heal'an, uh, the person addressing the one who drives. Not only that, I know from different cultures that sometimes a parent may be angry with his child and he say, may Allah curse your father. <laughs> who is his father? <laughs> You're cursing yourself. Okay. Yeah, I, I never paid attention to it. But it is so frequent that people use it without even meaning it, not knowing that Allah does respond. Okay. Allah does uh, 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 accept and may answer 